So, since our first part, there's been even more changes that have all made the game easier for everyone, and I'll put those on screen now for you to read, whilst I rant about telling you to subscribe and to watch the first part if you haven't already. Unable to read? What it basically says is that everything is easier and that you get an extra token of the mountain at level 2. Okay, so let's start off with commissions. Commissions are the main reason you're going to be mining. These are quests given out by the king and are things like mine 10 titanium in a specific area or partake in a goblin raid event. You have two commission slots. Slot 1 will always be related to mining and can be done at any time. And slot 2 will always be related to an event or random occurrence and you have to wait for it to happen to complete the commission. Completing a commission gives a random amount of mining XP and mithril dust, and a hundred heart of the mountain XP, as well as contributing to your commission milestone, which just unlocks a new emissaries which just spawn in places for you to hand in commissions all around the map. You can get a travel scroll at 250 commissions, and a golden pigeon at 500, which is just a bad phone for commissions. Your first 4 commissions of the day gives you 900 extra HOTM XP, and you unlock a third commission slot at 100 commissions, which adds the same as the first commission slot's quests. Events happen every 20 minutes and follow a cycle. 50 minutes of double powder, then a random event, then 50 minutes of double powder, then another random event, and so on. The event in this cycle is either a raffle where you run around collecting tickets, or a goblin raid where you kill goblins. The Goblin Raid gives more rewards, but the Raffle event gives you triple rewards if you win the event by having more tickets collected to increase your chances of winning a random draw. These events are synced across all servers. There are also random events that happen randomly. A Golden Goblin can spawn out of a mining block which gives powder when killed. A Powder Gas can spawn in a random area which gives a ton of powder when shot with a bow. Or a chunk of star can fall which spawns star sentries in a certain area. These events are not synced across servers. The forge is the place where you can, well, forge new items. This is basically just a crafting table but with extra steps and time commitment. In this menu, you can select what item you wanna forge, and this occupies one of your forge slots. When the timer ticks down to zero, you can collect that item and then immediately go back to forging the same items 10 more times because everything is extremely expensive. Here's an extremely fast scrolling list of every single forge recipe I stole from the Hypixel Skyblock wiki. You can also speed up forge times with the quick forge ability, but if you lose this ability by resetting your heart of the mountain, then all of the time saved will be added back onto your forge times. <laughs> Just don't ask how I know this. The final thing here is the various characters you can find around the map. Like this guy who talks about his dream of poggers, but there are a few actually genuinely interesting characters who give rewards, like Fetcher, who will give you a random fetch quest every day in a very unenthusiastic riddle, and you have to give him the item he is asking for. In return, you get 1000 mithril dust per day. The puzzler gives you a series of symbols and nothing more. To solve it, stand on the glowstone block he is standing on, facing the exit, and follow the arrows he says. Mind the block you end up standing on for a daily 1000 mithril dust reward. The cult of the fallen star meet on the 7th, 14th, 21st and 28th of every month and only at night in a small cave by the giant crystal in the middle. The first time you talk to them, they will give you a fallen star helmet that you have to wear 7 days later to their next meeting where they will give you 200 starfall. You can get 200 starfall every single time you attend one of these meetings. Starfall has its own completely separate use in beacons, which deserve their own video because nobody has any idea how beacons work quite yet. And that's it so far. There's more update things coming soon, but soon isn't right now, so looks like we are waiting. Hope this helped you out, and if you haven't watched the first half, then you should watch that, because that's where half of the information you're probably looking for is. See ya!